A few years ago, Google was in a way different place. Writers, bloggers, and SEO, we all worked together to get our articles to the top of Google. You know, we mostly used white hat techniques, some used gray hat, and another couple used black hat techniques. But the rules of the game have completely changed. Now it is AI hat. If you have a look here at the news on Google, AI is just content spam now. It's the worst quality results on Google I've seen in my 14 year career. Web search exec breaks down how SEO parasites and AI enabled spam are breaking the internet. Google search is losing the fight with SEO spam. Google has a profound spam problem and AI is making it worse. And as you can see, this, this is messed up. The AI is messed up. How people are utilizing it is wrong. And many bloggers like me, myself and yourself, were feeling the pinch. Our traffic is down, our subscribers are down, our profits are down. And this AI spam, it's forcing us to constantly churn out articles that we're not 100% happy with. We do this to protect our income. And here is the super, super annoying thing. It's us, the non-AI spammers, that are actually going to suffer the worst from this. Not only in our income, but... Google is going to go crazy about all this AI spam that it's actually let through already. And this is going to be the AI Armageddon. It's going to destroy us. It's going to destroy us unless we learn how to ride this AI wave. Once I figured out about this issue, it all became clear. It wasn't as if Google weren't trying to tell us that this was going to happen. It's just that they didn't move quick enough for what people jumped on board for when ChatGPT came out. This will give you an example here. 53% of Americans want to use AI to generate passive income. And here are five ways to do it. What is the top one? Write a blog. Write a blog. Okay. That means that 53% of Americans, that's a huge amount. That's like over 150 million people alone in America want to utilize AI to build an income. And they're doing it. And they're releasing rubbish content. You see, AI content isn't, isn't futuristic anymore. It's all right here for us to actually utilize, to use, to spam. But all of this amazing stuff that AI ha can actually give us and that people believe that it's going to give us is causing huge amount of problems. One of them being obviously the spam level. Another one being the plagiarism level. Just look at these news results here. Why can't AI generators just follow the rules? The Pokemon AI plagiarism row engulfing Palworld. The plagiarism problem. How generative AI models reproduce copyrighted content. This is all over the news. All of these things are building up in Google's arsenal to actually go hell on AI content. And Google has set guidelines about this, guys. It's just that they weren't aware of how much it was going to change. They originally put in the content guidelines for EEAT. And we know what EEAT stands for, experience. The experience of the content creator is what makes the content great. AI doesn't make content great. It's you that makes the content great. It's you that make your blog great and unique to you. Ex expertise of the creator of the main content of the page. So the expertise, where does your expertise come from? Okay, what knowledge do you have? The tidbits of things that you picked up over the years within your niche. How about authoritativeness of the creator of the main content of the page and the content itself and the website? You know, how long have you been about? What authority do you have? What have you actually done? And also trustworthiness of the creator of the main content and the content itself. Are you giving people bad advice? Are you telling people that they can earn $5,000 in a day? If this is the kind of thing that you're producing, that is non-trustworthy. And the thing with AI is AI gives out this form of content that you can tell instantly isn't human written. So what is the challenge here? Well, for you and me, for bloggers, our challenge is basically differentiating ourselves from artificial intelligence. So what I did was I did a quick test on ChatGPT versus myself in terms of actually writing. And I want to show this to you. So I asked ChatGPT, can you write me an opening paragraph on the future of AI content generation? And they said, 
In the ever-evolving landscape of artificial intelligence, the future of AI generation stands poised at the cusp of a transformative change, heralding a new era in the way that we create and inter interact with digital content. As algorithms grow increasingly sophisticated, they're not only automating existing processes, but unlocking creative potentials that are once the exclusive domain of human imagination. Now, before I even get into explaining what is what that kind of text is, I wanna show you the text that I've written myself. So I just basically did the same thing. I said, AI content future. AI content is exploding at the moment and with good reason. It's fast, it's smart, and it's reliable. Well, it's sort of reliable anyway. Did you know that over 85.1% of content creators are now using AI in their content marketing purposes, but what result is that gonna have on the future of the internet and for your own unique and personal voice? That's what we'll find out in this post, okay? So I wrote and I got AI to write. And then what I did was I got AI to actually say, or to, to ask, I asked the AI, is this human or is this AI? So I, I put both of them in and I said, um, which is human written and which is AI written? And here is what they do, they did. So I put my text, the human written in first, and I put the second in, or the AI written in second. And they said the first text, this is a more casual, casual and conversational tone. It uses phrases like, well, it's sort of reliable anyway, which indicates a more human-like approach to writing, often involving subtle humor and personal opinion. The structure is less formal and more direct, which is typically more co common with human writing. Okay, so they got it right. Next of all, the second text. The text is characterized by more formal and structured approach. It uses complex sentences and advanced vocabulary, paradigm shift on parallel opportunities, technical revolution. AI generation rated content often leans towards a more formal and sophisticated style as it's based on a wide variety of sources and tends to mimic more academic and professional tone. Now, what's the bad thing about that? The bad thing is this the average reading level on the internet for your content, for my content, isn't grade 15, isn't grade 20, it's grade nine. So that means basically grade nine, it was like 13, 14 years of age readers. That is the average reading level. Now, if you're utilizing AI content on your blog religiously all the time without actually editing the content, then you're not gonna be finding your happy medium when it comes to your audience. Because we can tell, the thing is we can tell the massive difference between AI written content and also human written content. If you've got a blog for a long time, your audience expect and understand your voice, okay? And if they start to see this AI content appearing, what's gonna happen is we are AI content snobs. We understand the difference. We can tell that something is written by AI and something is written by a human. And we kind of put up our nose at the AI side of things, which in turn, after even though you're you're trying to put out as much content as possible, you're losing your original visitors as well. Because what you're doing now is you're losing your unique and original voice. So for me and for you, the message is completely clear. You have to use AI smartly. You have to use AI content smartly. You're not a spammer. You're not just taking AI content and putting it up onto your blog and potentially losing your readership. You're utilizing AI smartly in everything that you do. That basically means keeping your original voice, keeping your editing up as well. It's super, super important and making your AI content unique to you. If you're having problems with your blog, if you're having trouble with growing your audience, potentially you wanna check out my training called the Blog Profit Path. This is gonna guide you on how to actually start, build and grow a successful blog within the AI artificial intelligence age. You can go to the link down below in the description. My name's been Kieran Doyle. If you're new here, I hope that I've earned your subscription. And if you're returning, thanks so much for being here. See you in the next video.